why you shouldn't use a dagger for all of your Android projects. Now with Dagger, Dagger is um, something, it's a dependency injection framework, which pretty much means it's whenever you have something like an MVP, Malview Presenter, your presenter um, on different activities is going to create the same objects more than once if you have more than one declaration of it. So that creates more than one objects, you know, for example, if you have uh, retrofits, uh, if you have two objects of your presenter and retrofit is in the presenter, it, it shouldn't be, but um, uh, let's say it is, uh, it would create more than one retrofits and that creates, that destroys time, it destroys resources, and you only want one retrofit, you only want one, you only want one presenter, that's what Dagger does. Now, you could pass in the retrofit into the parameters of the presenter so you only have one retrofit, but what if you have more than one activity or more than one fragment going on at the same time? You can't really pass them through the fragments without um, wasting time and resources, so that's what Dagger does. Makes it a little easier. Now you see all the good things of it. Why shouldn't you use it for every project? It seems so easy to do. Well, Dagger adds some added complexity, at least for, for Java. Um, for Java, you have to create your whole um, um, components and everything. You have to create all these separate things for your classes, and they create some complexity, to be honest. Uh, not much, but just enough to make it a little bit more complex. It makes it a little harder to organize your code with everything, but... Um, for small projects, I would not recommend Dagger at all because you don't need it. Like for example, if you have you know a uh, a a small app that you know you take a picture and it filters your face and that's it. That's all it does. It's a small project. You don't need Dagger. It's small. Um, you're not going to get all the benefits from Dagger anyway. It's only from big, big apps like uh, the Gmail app or like Twitter or, you know, big apps like that. That's that, that those are the things that's going to help. Because you have so many classes and you don't want to have all these objects uh, be created all the time. You want to use the same object throughout the whole entire app to save resources and everything. With that um, dagger, when you add dagger, it adds to the method count for one. Um, it does add the the complexity and now um, for the method count you don't want indexing to be able do you want to pretty much um have dexing enabled um later on or you want to pretty much not have dexing enabled for as long as possible the second reason why you don't want dagger is you don't want the added complexity when your classes. Now with Kotlin, it's not much, but still you don't want added stuff if you don't need it. You don't want to add, um, you know, four lines of code into your classes, for example, if it only does very minuscule type of um, help to it. If it only, only adds to like um, a one to 2% speed for your um, app, for example, it doesn't increase speed, but for example, if it only adds, you know, one to one, 2% speed, and your app is very small, it's gonna do not much for you. It's not it's gonna add complexity to it. And I think it adds too much complexity to your app um, for a very small return when your app is very small. And number three is that not every developer knows Dagger. Don't put Dagger in a very small app that doesn't give you much return, because not every developer is going to know Dagger. Now you have to find out a person that knows Dagger. If they don't know or they need to learn about it, it's going to add some complexity for a small app. If you have a big app, go for it. Um, if you have a medium-sized app, go for it. But for a small app that does one thing, like filters, photos, not the best thing. Um, you, you can do it, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not complex enough. Dagger is for complex, complex things. Um, and those are the reasons, I mean, 
this is this is very opinionated this is my opinion that this isn't pretty much the standard go-to in the the android realm i just think that dagger just creates too much complexity for what it gives you in, in return at least for small apps i think it's very beneficial for medium and large apps like gmail twitter facebook instagram things like those things that do more than one operation